Oi, oi. Tell your friends about the podcast, yeah? Let's write a movie. The podcast. Hey, welcome to the pack- podcast. <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Very American. So <laughs> keep that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You're Paul. I'm Paul, and you are Owen. Yeah. And this is a podcast called Let's Write a Movie. Um, and it's basically we take a setup, a conflict, a resolution, a genre, and a location, and we make a mind-bogglingly great movie in our own. No, it's not right. Like reasonably good movie. Well, it's mm, like a, that's negotiable. A, t- a two out of five. Mm, maybe two out of five. Two out of five? Or a cat's pigeon. So if you're looking for a two out of five movie, you're in the right place. If you're not in the right place... <laughs> you're in the wrong place. You're in, you're in the wrong place. Yeah. Leave. Yeah, get out of there. Oh, that's a bit uh, aggressive. Get out of that place. Sorry, hang around. You might find something you like. Yeah. See how it goes. Welcome. Anyway, should we start? You, you can start. If you I'm going to start with the setup. Which is teen eagerly awaiting to see if they have got into university. Oh. Timely. Mm. Well, for the UK people, before they're. I know how I'm going to yeah. that. Um, <laughs> conflict. Gets bitten by a radioactive snake, becomes Snake Boy or oh, Snake Girl. Oh, it's like a superhero thing. Oh, well, let's hope we pick superheroes that don't. <laughs> That's kind of written the film for us. Yeah. Not much, much room to put there. Resolution. The aliens come around to Earth and decide to migrate there. Okay. As in, it grows yeah. on them. Genre. And maybe the aliens would look like snakes. So snake boy, you know. Uh, could be. Yeah. <laughs> Genre is... Spy. Spy. I spy. That reason we fit in with uh, superiors. Location is Cockney. Yeah. London. London Town. London Town. London. Oh, I, I love to do a Cockney PSB. accent. I'm all over this one. Right, set up. So it's set in South London, Streatham. Wouldn't it be in East London if it's Cockney? Oh, well. <laughs> East London then. <laughs> <laughs> it's set in. Uh, Oh, Eltham. Eltham? Eltham. Cool. Eltham, Eltham. And uh, what's he called? He's called John. He's called John Barrow. <laughs> no, he's called John. John. What's that really She's called John. He's called John Winston. She's called John. Yeah. Oh, I suppose he doesn't John. know his surname. Yeah. Now, John has been... It's post-summer and he has... Sat his ear levels back in May, mm. and he's waiting eagerly to see if he gets the three A's he needs, three A stars, should I say, mm. to get into Cambridge University. Oh, wow. And if he does that, he will be the first person in his family to, to go to university. To go to university mm. and, and to actually leave the East End of London. They've mm. never left, they love it so much. Yeah. So he sat in his bed. It's Monday morning, he's expecting the, the letter any day now. Oh, fucking, fucking out, out. Uh, I hope I get this fucking three A stars. My fucking life will be fucking on the app. Um, should I be the dad? Dad, come in here. Dad. All right, son. You, get me my breakfast, you ponce. You get your own fucking breakfast. Hey, you, you, you get, you fucking get. Em. You forget, you've got a. You get your fucking breakfast, son. I'm off to Cambridge University, Dad. You get your fucking breakfast. Okay, you know? I'm not giving you any money when I become a world class tennis player I don't who specialises in floral lobotomies. <laughs> you fa- you, so get in that fucking kitchen, you stupid old ponty git. I'm All right, what do you want? Two boiled eggs and three pieces of bread. Toast, get fucked. Toasted. Well, I'm not going to tell you again. God, this guy is really domineering over his dad, isn't he? Oh, fuck it, why? <laughs> so anyway, just as they're having this little, uh, little tet for tet. Oh, what, what's that? 
some of us come through the door, innit? Oh, it's me results. Ma, Dad, it's me results. It's well, me... Fu- fucking open it, son. Okay. Well, what do you fucking get, son? Uh, oh. oh, fuck. Oh, you fucked it, didn't you? We got for three A's. Oh, you fucking idiot. You're going to have to go to fucking... I can't get in anywhere. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. The Polytechnic. You're just going to have to go fucking Bristol University, aren't you? Yeah, I've got to down that shit end of the country. Yeah. All those simple... You stupid little fuck. Right, what's the... <laughs> and then we've got... Uh... So it'd be like... Conflict. All right, so he's, like, he's walking around his garden, kicking a milk bottle around with a, mm. with a used condom inside it. <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> fuck it, hell. Ah, oh, fuck this up. I have to get in touch with Bristol. Come on, the wall! <laughs> and uh, I'd have to fucking sort this out. Oh, man. Yeah. So he lets up this big groan and just as he does, a snake bites him on the foot. Holy shit. Oh! Ooh, ah, ee, ooh, ah. <laughs> What's this snake? Who's this fucking snake? It's bitten me. Oh, fucking hell. Oh my god, I feel this immense energy flowing through my toes, all the way through my ankles, all through my knees. It's gone round my genitalia, and now it's gone up my anus, now it's <laughs> fucking up my back, and now it's gone through my nipples. Oh, it's gone in my armpits, hasn't it? Oh, it's in my neck, and now it's gone to the top of my head, back down the floor, and now look at me, I'm a snake boy. His dad comes out. <laughs> what did he say? Ah, oh, Sean, what the fuck's happened here? I'm sick, boy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Doreen. I've bitten you. Oh, shit. He's killed his dad. Fuck. <laughs> but he's holding the eggs and toast. Yeah. And he goes over there, the snake, and he... <laughs> It's boiled eggs and he just swallows them whole. Eggs. Yeah, like little hunks. Snake. Ooh, <laughs> ooh toast. <laughs> I'm a big fucking snake. <laughs> and he goes out the back gate in the back lane. Where am I going? I don't fucking know. Ooh, what's going on? Snake boy. And he goes into the street and there's a double-decker bus, the 49 to Chingford. Yeah. And he's like... And it's one of the new Boris buses where you can get on the back, like the route master. Mm. And he slides on the back. And he eats everyone on board. And he gets to the driver and the driver's like, oh! Uh, the driver's like, no, man. I've got a wife I've had goods. Don't you? F- no, come on, man. Oh, and he's like, good, yeah. So he's got, he's full of like, what, 45 people. Mm. And he can have moved down the road. And just as this is happening, he looks up and there's a flying saucer. Yeah. Um, and inside the flying saucer is um, Jesmond 1 and Josephine 5. Oh, wow. So Jesmond 1. Would you look at this, Josephine 5? This is a strange earth. No, bliss, bliss, bliss. There's a big snake. I think it's called a snake, and it's got. Oh. It, it looks like it's like bliss. Yeah, but I, I don't know what to make of this country. This country is it a country? It is a bluff. It's an earth. Is that a, so? We're in this. So what we've we seen so far, we've seen. Uh, we've seen funny alien. We've seen clouds. <laughs> I think they're called clouds. We're seeing all these little people running around. They all live in these little boxes. And they come out and they get into these metal boxes and they drive around. Yes. And everyone's like kind of in a rush. Yes. And they, uh, there's a lamp port. There's like lights on the road. So at night they light up so people can see where they're walking. Blush. And now we've come across this big thing. But it's got the face of, a, it's kind of like a, one of these little people we've seen, but it's like a snake as well. So, hmm. This is interesting, and and the and then John looks up. He sees the flying saucer. Hmm. What, f- <laughs> what the fuck's that? I'm great. It's too high up. 
I say, I'm a fucking snake. <laughs> <laughs> snake boy. I'm going to run for mayor. Fuck it. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, and then... <clears throat> So the alien, the alien just, what's it called? Jesmond 1. Jesmond 1 and Josephine 5. He's like, um, what an interesting, what, I can't remember his voice, what an interesting uh, species these are. Mm. If it helped, it just went to your normal voice eventually. <laughs> yeah, it didn't just, yes. So, well, he's kind of uh, imitating, because the, oh, the aliens they're, they're don't speak English, language, yeah. so they're just taking up lots of different... Um, accents etc mm. to form the english language as they see it jo- josephine five was struggling like a bit to take yeah, on the accent because she still had her you know from their planet the blood the you know but she's never been blood, great blood with blood. La- and she's never been great with languages josephine yeah. five so she's really finding her a problem yeah so anyway um jesmond one is like mm, now that i've seen that big horrible snake um do you want to buy a two three bed semi Josephine Five. Bless, I blink, I brew. Let's move in. It's not ah. too bad here after all. Blowy, blonde, like the breast of them. I really like that. Uh, <laughs> I really like Peckham. Oh, Peckham, like blubbly. Peckham, yeah, let's move in Peckham. So he goes down the go dead, dead low towards the big snake, mm. winds down the, the, the window in his flying saucer. Yeah. It's like, snake boy, snake, snake man, whatever you are, uh, you've just... Sealed the deal. We're moving in. We're going to move into Peckham. And the snake, John's like, F- Peckham, you fucking mad. Fucking shit. And he slivers off and yeah. it ends. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just a real sudden ending there. <laughs> so, I don't know. You know. Cool. So, so, title for this masterpiece? Um, S- what is it? Snake, snake Boy Snake Boy versus the Aliens. Um... The Snake Boy of London. No. Um, it's got to be Snake Boy something, hasn't it? Snake. What about I like Snake Boy versus London. Yeah. Mm. Done. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> oh, <do you? laughs> okay. So the young lad, he's. Got, yeah. Who can he be played by? Um. What about? Uh, How about Jack Wilshire? Jack Wilshire. The footballer. The footballer. Yeah. <laughs> He's, to play... Well, he's retired, I think. What, to play, he's going to be retiring to soon. To play Snake Boy? Yeah, he wants to get Isn't into... Isn't he a bit too old, then? Yeah, but he looks... He what looks, about Rupert Grint? Rupert Grint? No, he doesn't have that edge. Daniel Radcliffe? No, we need someone who could play a dick. Um, someone who could play a dick. Uh, and who's also reasonably young. <laughs> so who's a young dickhead? Oh, young dickhead. Not me. I'm in my mid-30s now. Yeah, you're... I'm a, I'm a thirty odd year old dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know who have we got. What talent is at our disposal? <clears throat> Every single person in the UK. Um, someone with an edge. Who's got an edge? There's no the edge edge. character. The edge from you two. The edge from you two is a definite candidate for the dad. Dad. Okay. So the yeah. edge. You could, yeah. <laughs> so that's the, and then, and also. Boom, about Bono could be the son. Go on. <laughs> and then, Bono, and then Larry you? Holmes. Is it Larry Holmes? Who's he called? Not Larry Holmes. No He's the knows boxer. Who the other ones got <laughs> Larry is the bassist. Yeah. He can play Jesmond. Yeah. And then, oh, who did he go out with? Naomi Campbell can play Josephine Five. Sounds good. And who else have we got left? The bus driver. Yeah. Musical Dizzy Rascal. You've already had everyone's been musical apart from Naomi Campbell. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we need a proper actor, don't we, for the um, bus driver? Trevor Rick, McDonald. Trevor McDonald. Yeah, sounds great. Yes, put on because he's a proper actor. That's yeah. what he's known for. Yeah, he's got the accent. Yeah, no. um, <laughs> he's got the typical bus driver accent. <laughs> is that it? Uh, I think that's it. That's yeah. everyone, isn't it? Mm. So this quick summary. Oh um, God, yeah. Um. Oh, I can't even remember it. <laughs> it's a blur to me. Okay, so John so. is waiting on his exam results. Yeah. He's aggressive towards his father and very domineering as well. Yeah. He orders him to get him some breakfast whilst we're yeah. waiting these results. They have a bit of an argument. The results come in. He's got three E's. He needed three A's to get into Cambridge where he'd applied. Did you say three E's? Yeah. I thought you said three A's. No, no, no. <laughs> three E's. He falls up big time. 
So you probably could have even get, gotten into Bristol. That's what I was saying. Yeah. yeah. I was confused by this. <laughs> um, and he's disgruntled. He walks around the garden, kicking around a, a milk bottle where they use a condom inside it. And then he gets bitten by a snake, turns into a snake boy. Yeah. Goes out, well, actually kills his dad, doesn't he? Eats his dad. Does he eat him or just kill him? Um, he no, he eats the breakfast. He eats the breakfast, but he's still hungry, so yeah. he slivers out the back garden and eats the whole occupants of the number 49 to Chingford. I believe it was something along Spares the, the driver, he took a shine into the driver. Whilst this is happening, aliens are watching. Mm. And they're being a bit mm, not too impressed with Earth, they didn't really get it. But this, but one of the aliens, Jesmond won, took a shine to Snake Boy. I thought, you know what, this place is all right. I'm going to move into Peckham. With mm. my wife, Josephine Five. Mm. And uh, he tells this to Snake Boy, he's not impressed, the film ends. Yeah. It's called, what's it called? It's called um, Trevor, no, not Trevor. <laughs> Trevor the Alien. You should check out Trevor, Trevor the Alien. <laughs> Rides there's, the bus. There's too many Trevors going around, I got confused. It's called... Um, Snake Boy Snake versus Boy London. Snake Boy versus London. Yeah. Yes. And there we go. And well, we hope that you liked it, dear listener. If you did like it, probably don't tell your friends about this one. Tell them about other ones, though. Like Trevor the Alien. That one was good. (laughs) So there we have it. (laughs) Cheers. Cheers. See ya. Thanks for making it all the way to the end. Don't forget to tell your friends. Hey, and why not subscribe while you're here? And also check out our socials. We're LWAMPod on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Cheers.